Hey class, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over some art history things, so stay tuned as we learn some culture. Alright class, so today we're going to be working on art history. Now, I love doing art history that marries with the projects that we're working on. So the reason that I chose this artwork specifically, uh, this artwork here by Freydun Razuli, that is the guy's name, how you pronounce it. Uh, the picture here is the dancer. Uh, the period that we're working in, his style of artwork is based on fusionism. Now, the reason I chose this artwork is because when we do calligraphy in class, the fluidity of, of line, how line comes out of that br or comes out of the pen, is why I chose to do this kind of artwork because the fluidity, the way that the lines move in the image, focuses on how the ink is going to go on the paper for calligraphy at the same time. Also, the, there is a when he's using a brush and you're using a pen, you have the same direct directorial movement which means you're starting at one point and you're moving out to another point so all the lines are focusing on are inside of the body of the dancer the body and the face of the dancer and the lines then are radiating outward from that person similar to how you guys use that in calligraphy now for him a couple elements and principles of art things that we use to describe the artwork that we're looking at there is a lot of vivid color there's a lot of line and there's a lot of movement those are the three things that we're really kind of focusing on Line I've already talked about because of the way that it shifts and moves. Um, there's directional line usage in the artwork. Movement is also right there because of the lines being that are moving. They're moving directly from the center of the character outward. That just gives you presence. It gives you reasoning to where your eye is supposed to be looking around. So you start uh, intrinsically as humans. We look at that face, and from that face, the lines of the hair, which your eyes then go down the, the body itself. And as you're going down the body, you see those lines that are going out from the torso, going up back to the top of the hair. Again, down to the leg area that go out to the bottom edge, we have those nice red crimson colors. All of these things are kind of tying together. Now with color, the thing about color that we see in this piece is a monochromatic color scheme, which means it's just one color. It's variations of that one color, but it's just one color. Yeah, there's a little bit of orange and slight yellow, but I'm still calling it monochromatic just because um, those colors are so minute that I would really look at this as a red spectrum only. So it goes from that white to a black version of red on each end of the spectrum. We have that lightish pink, little dab dabs of hue in there to change things up. But overall, it's just a focus on uh, those three colors, line, movement, and color. As always, if you guys have a question or a comment, raise your hand down in the comments below, and I will see you guys next class. Until then, later, guys.